She is always thinking of new ways to promote ladies' game in football. So, ladies and gentlemen, she is also the county board PRO for Kilkenny. Will you please give it up for our PRO of the year for 2021, Elena Byrne! Elena, what sort of night did you have here? Um, this has been a very special night. Like, from the moment of walking in, it just feels like we're behind the scenes here in Crow Park and getting to see it when no one, like, in a way, no one else has ever seen it. And it's just been a privilege and an honour to be here and to be nominated and to come here with my friends and family and enjoy this just really gorgeous occasion celebrating these amazing volunteers from all around the, the country and the stories we've heard here tonight just I will take with me you know and that it's just been absolutely fabulous to attend. And you weren't shy either you were straight in there with Dahi getting your picture taken. <laughs> I wouldn't be known around Kilkenny or I'm actually from Dublin originally to be shy, <laughs> I suppose. But um, um, no, I mean, uh, Piero, you can't really be shy, can you? You have to get yourself out there. You have to introduce yourself. Yeah. Like it's hard enough even at the start of matches going up to take photos of teams in the middle of intense team talk. So you kind of have to just put yourself out there the whole time. It's not always easy, um, but you just kind of get used to putting on the face and getting out there and doing it. <laughs> Could you give a bit of advice, say there's somebody out there, a young girl looking to do PRO, what is it like in 2022? What do you need to do? What's the best way of doing it? Well, I suppose there's a lot of different qualities you need to have these days. I mean, years ago, when I first started, um, it was more like, and it still is about the local media, don't get me wrong, it's definitely about you need to, and, and the local media in Kilkenny, actually, in the last... I started the role four years ago with Kilkenny, have come on board so much, it's been unbelievable. The Kilkenny people with Trevor Spillane and the, the community radio with um, Nikki Brennan and Lee McKelly Rourke. It's, and um, I can't leave out then the Kilkenny um, what's the other radio station. Anyway, look, they've just come on so much with promoting us over the years. So I would say to someone coming on, just to make those links very early on. And you might get knocked back a few times at the start, but just keep emailing, keep ringing, keep messaging, and keep making those connections with your local radio and local newspapers. And also then you do need skills, um, social media. I mean, obviously that's, um, I think in the last few years, it's snowballed, hasn't it? And like, you just need to have skills there. A little bit of writing skills, um, uh, a little bit of creative still skills on digital um, media and just research the free apps out there and use them to your potential to and do the basics well like I mean just promote the matches promote the times the venues um, the players uh, the coaches the volunteers and as PRO like all you can do like I mean me get me this award tonight I can only promote the good work that's going on I mean I can't promote something that, that's not going on and there's been phenomenal work going on at Kilkenny in the last few years and that's all I'm doing. I'm just promoting that good work going on by the coaches and um, the players in the county the last few years. So I would just say to someone new coming on, talk to people and just promote the basics. Can I ask you finally just one thing that you've seen over the last three or four years that you've been there that has really worked well, maybe even surprised you? Is there a story, a photograph or anything that just caught fire and really told a story for ladies football, a really special thing that you sort of came upon? Yeah. I, do, I do remember like two years ago during uh, the start of um, the lockdown, like I did put out a post about we are going to have another ladies team in the next three years and that just caught fire <laughs> and uh, everyone was interested and like I think that's just a show in Ireland we always like to back the underdog and we always like to see someone who maybe hasn't done well come to the fore and do well and I felt that even there tonight in the room when you was talking everyone was just like applauding little things you're saying about Kilkenny because everyone wants to see the underdog come through and do well and hopefully we will be back in the future very near future with um a great team.